Hey everyone, welcome to the collection. Hop on Walmart right now, walmart.com. You can get this guy for 20 bucks. I think this is normally 50. Pretty sure this is $50. Definitely not trying to pay $50, but 20 bucks. It went on sale for 25, and then the next week it went on sale for 20. So I don't know if these just aren't selling or they just had a lot of them, but they're on sale. I'm gonna pull them out. Hopefully it's not a swap. Hopefully everything's in here. And we'll be right back. All right. Got these guys out of the package. Everything was there. So, Spider-Man. The six-arm Spider-Man. So, he comes with just a couple hand swaps. So, I do... Yeah. I mean, this looks pretty, pretty good. I remember they did this figure before. I never had it. And I think it was kind of like a a maligned figure because I don't know the the six arm just didn't really come out the way people wanted I mean what can you do this is actually pretty good pretty interesting of course the those pins are disgusting like come on ew that's really bad I don't like the pins it definitely feels very gummy like a lot of the modern modern I guess Marvel Legends have been Ah, the pins are just really ugly. But when he's on the shelf, it's okay. It's not such a big deal. Yeah, I mean, he's pretty cool. I like the texturing on the suit. So that's nice. I'll do some comparisons here in a minute. I'll grab a couple of Spider-Man figures off the shelf. So, yeah, a little scuffing up on the paint here. Paint's a little weak. But there's a lot happening, so I don't know. I mean, I would I would definitely be pretty disappointed if I paid 50 bucks and, you know, these guys aren't meeting the quality. They feel like they should. I kind of knew. I mean, when I buy Marvel Legends now, I kind of know what I'm going to get. The quality's just not always there. But, yeah, this... Uh, this guy definitely stands out on the shelf. It's a, definitely a cool little addition. Man, the six-armed Spider-Man. I never thought I would have this figure. I didn't think they would ever redo him because the other one was so hated. And then, of course, Morbius. So the first thing I'm noticing, and you can actually see it on the package here, but I didn't know. He's got this strange sort of paint application on his chest. And on his hands as well. That's interesting. I don't know that I've seen anything like that before. It's just kind of like a weird little splash of like brown paint. I don't know. It's kind of weird. You can tell. Maybe it's just the camera is really picking it up. When I'm holding this guy in hand, it doesn't look so bad. But you can definitely tell the face. And it doesn't match the chest and the arms very well. It really stands out here on the camera. This guy is very gummy as well. I mean, I'm barely touching it, and it's just... Yeah, I don't know why they're so gummy. And you definitely don't have to heat this guy up. Yeah, he's he's moving real good. He's not a stiff figure that needs to be heated with water or whatever. So he's got a couple of cape options. So that's kind of cool. I think I would go with this one for now. So you just peg that right into the back. Sorry, the focusing is a little wonky. Maybe because I have this thing sitting in the background. I just wanted to get a little comparison. I'll chunk this. But yeah, I mean, this guy looks pretty good, of course. He also has these ugly pins, but since he's just wearing a black suit, it doesn't really matter as much. It looks really bad on Spider-Man, though. Let me grab a couple figures, and we'll do a little comparison. All right, so just a quick comparison. This is the Renew Your Vows Spider-Man. So, of course, this is my favorite Spider-Man in the collection. I just love the colors, the pinless, the, just everything, the toe articulation. So this is just painted lines on the figure, whereas this guy, it is sculpted. 
So it's interesting. This almost feels a little more toy-ish. A little, I guess, cheap in a way. I don't know if that makes sense. It seems like textured lines would be better, but something is a little strange about it. I do like that it's a little different. So the lines are not colored in in any way. They're just kind of sculpted. I don't know if they were all colored in black. I don't know if that would pop or if that would just start to look weird. This Morbius is from the sort of the modern. Uh, this is the Venom Pool wave. This figure, I think it's kind of hard to get now. So if you if you weren't able to get this Morbius, this is a great option for sure. And I'm just going to, whoops, there he goes. I'm just going to show you. I did try to do a head swap and it just doesn't work because this Morbius has the crazy mullet thing going on. And it just won't work because of this thick collar right here. So if you weren't able to get your hands on this guy or started collecting since then, then this is definitely a great option. I, I wish the head swap would work. I don't know. I'm fine with this head. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. Hop on Walmart. Get it while you can. See ya.